So we've just got in the studio on Sunday. I think it's still morning, although it's not early. And James is just having his grapes. And we've come in to sort out the um, packing area for the shop and pack some orders. So that's what we're going to be doing this morning. And I thought it'd be fun to give you like a before and after. So hang on a sec and I will show you where we're at. So this is the current situation of the packing table. And it's completely disorganized. James is just over there shuffling boxes. And then these drawers, what he's going to do now is going to hoover them out and I'm going to wipe them out because we've got these um, second hand. They're actually free. <laughs> he's making a right noise. Sorry. It's okay. Um, he's over there with the hoover. You can carry on, it's fine. So yeah, I'm going to wipe them out. James is going to hoover them out and then we're going to sort out the shelves and then we've got pretty much all the stock in James's office so we're going to bring that back and organize um, the shelving um, unit here so that we've got places for everything really packaging materials and stock and then we're also going to do a little order for some more packaging materials because we're running low of a few things and we want to have some more efficient um, items in our packing area like um, simply having some tape that's on one of those roll things that cuts itself what are those called like a tape dispenser with a thing that you can just you know one-handed use some tape and also buy some more of the um, plastic free tape the brown tape uh, that we really want so yeah that's what we're going to do and I will uh, show you the whole process um, that's the before bit and then um, I'll show you the after bit as well. And then you can keep us company maybe when we pack some orders as well. So that's the plan. Um, let's get on with it. So we've just unpacked the prints and these are the new prints um, um, the only thing we've had a problem with has been the stickers actually so we can talk about that later but the prints we're really really happy with um, and we I always get asked which printer um, I go to and I go to a local printer um, so in my area but um, yeah I like to talk to someone face to face and we've been working with this printer for a couple of years now so James has got a really good relationship with the lady that sort of does it for us we know about the papers and we can touch the papers um, and, and just to be able to get some proofs and then five minutes down the road um, we can go and pick them up and yeah they're really really great printer so we've stuck with them for now particularly because it's lockdown and ease and things like that as well but to be honest we unwrapped them all and we were 10 out of 10 for, for all of them um, so we're really super happy with those so what we've done, hang on a sec, is we've put them in the drawers just down there. So this one and the one over there. Can't see very well because it's a terrible angle, so sorry about that. <laughs> James is laughing at me. And yeah, so we've put those away so they obviously can be safe and not get any dust on them or anything it's built on them and things like that. So they've gone away first, that's that's our priority really. And then we've started um, just putting a few things away, like the envelopes on the middle shelf. They fitted really, really well. And we use tons of those, so that's really accessible for packing. And yeah, we're gonna do a bit more now, so I will uh, check back in a little while. See you in a bit. <laughs>
So it's now all nice and tidy and I'll show you in a minute. James is just getting the uh, labels printed. So we've got 91 labels to print, I think, for our orders. So if you've ordered from our little shop, thanks so, so much for supporting us. We really appreciate you. Um, we'll pack them all with love, we promise, and uh, ship them off probably. We'll probably get them all packed and finished by Tuesday, I'm thinking. I don't think we'll get them all done today, um, but we're going to try and get as many as we can done. And then let's just have a look at the situation in the rest of the room because the shot I'm showing you right now makes it look like the studio is really tidy. However, hmm, if we look down there, we've got some unsorted packaging materials. And then a real mess where the cupboard is. The cupboard isn't sorted at all. I've, uh, I've put the plant up there moved a spider plant because he was a little bit in the way in our packing area so I think he's going to get enough light up there and it really shows off how fancy he's looking. Obviously I'll repot some babies soon whenever I get a minute and then hang on I'll show you the rest of it because it's really bad but I'll have to move the uh, camera. Hang on a sec. So yeah that's me standing the other side of the room um, and yeah you can see there's loads of stuff on the floor so even down there. And then the table, I've just taken everything off the standing desk, so the, the projects I've been working on, and put it all on the table so that I can use the standing desk for packing, which is really nice and comfortable for my back. And then, so it's kind of not too messy, but it's just stuff everywhere. And the art supplies at the end over there, with the, I'm, I'm sorting those out really, and they're going to go on the, um, on the dresser, which is just to the right of this uh, shot and then the let's see if I can zoom in a bit hang on the uh, lovely wet area over there which I'm really missing so I need to get that sorted and that's my um, my aim for this week to see if I can get that area sorted it's currently um, a bit of a dumping ground as you can see as well as underneath as well so but most of the stuff that's underneath there is actually going to the charity shop once they open again so whenever that is because obviously UK is still in lockdown um, so yeah that's the plan so I'm gonna get on and pack orders with James now because as I say we've got quite a lot of work to do so so I think James is just about there with the with the printing so I will um, yeah go and help him pack orders right now Okay, little update. Um, James and I are not doing very well. We have packed a few orders. How many have we done so far, babe? He doesn't know. 15. 15 maybe. So we haven't even got a quarter of the way through. Um, I don't know if it's because we're in a different room, but we just we feel really out of sorts and we just don't know what we're doing. Uh, and for some reason, the address labels have come out in the wrong order, which hasn't happened before. So, um, yeah, so we're just, um, yeah, muddling our way through in, a, in quite a comical way, really. But uh, there you go. So that's uh, what's happening so far. Um, we will get our heads around it, but I think we'll probably do a few more and then maybe go home, have a break and then come back tomorrow fresh and do some more. So that's where we're at. When we wake birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun oh we know what we have let's hold on tight found what we're looking for in life call us crazy but things are finally right the future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no more oh, Even in the hard times You and I can weather any storm Before I sleep 
Doing a little sound check with the mics to see if it works. Hopefully it does. And wow, look at the um, light in here today. So hang on a sec. I don't know if you can hear the wind, but the wind's going crazy and it's so cozy in here. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, the light's crazy, crazy. The trees are going crazy out there. I don't know if you could see. The sunshine's madness today. I don't know, are you wonky? Let's see, look a bit wonky there. Yeah, so I've just driven in with James and we've come in the van. He's got a van, small van. And um, yeah, we were just trying to work out where we could go for a walk around here, um, just to walk straight out the building and not um, have any road, but to get into nature really quickly. And he's worked out a little place we can go. So I know I've got some walking boots. Um, I think they're over there somewhere. I don't know where everything is yet, you see. Uh, and I've just been trying to organise a few bits and bobs this morning, but um, yeah, it's, it's taking me a little bit of time to settle in, so that's okay. So yeah, we've got both got boots here, so we're thinking, because the weather has shifted and the light has shifted so much, yeah, it might be really good for us to have a stomp, so that's what we're thinking. In the spontaneous moment, not plan it in. Yeah, it's quite tricky to plan around my work hours at the moment because um, I've got so much to do. A lot less now. James is doing the shop, um, so he's the shop manager as well as the art director. So yeah, he's doing a great job with that. And I still do bits and bobs for the shop and read all the messages and I've been packing orders with him and things like that. But he's basically taking on all the stock and the, everything else that goes on behind the scenes in the shop. So this morning, I'm just going to um, sort my hair out, I think. And then I'm going to um, do a bit of sorting over there. So um, let me show you what I've been doing this morning. So I need some um, water bottles and a bucket in here because that's my sink, if you like. We don't have a sink in, our, in, in the room. So I have to take all my things either to the toilet or we have a little kitchen. Um, so I need that. So while I'm you know, in between cleaning things, I, I do use my bucket and my, my bottles. And then I've got a pile of journals there test prints and drawings so yes there's a pile of artwork that needs sorting out there and then I've got some um, some of my paint supplies and then all my uh, canvases new canvases part finished canvases and some finished things the mermaid's still there she's she's hiding behind um behind Betsy so she's still here look there she is hello hello yeah I'm still here, I'm still waiting to be finished, she says. I haven't touched her in ages. Uh, and another painting that I began um, ages ago. So that's something that uh, I may or may not feel pulled towards. And yeah, so that's where I'm at. And then, yeah, over here is my sorting table at the moment. So yeah, I think I'm gonna sit down, um, do some writing in my journal. Um, and have a cup of tea and uh, settle into my, my Tuesday. Yeah, this beautiful sunshine.
So here I am trying to work, um, trying to be productive and um, get on with what I need to get on with. Um, not doing very well this morning. I had a big brain dump this morning in my journal, so that's helped me um, work a few things out. And I'm going to do a little bit of work on my schedule and planner um, and do a little bit of practical stuff just to organise my uh, future weeks, um, if you like, because this week is not going to plan at all, I have to say already. And I really, really have tried to do my best. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, it's obviously not in the flow at the moment. So, mm. but I'm going to endeavour to improve my weekly schedule um, so I don't leave everything till the end of the week like I have been doing. So that's the intention anyway. And what else am I doing? I am just trying to do the Patreon um, weekly update. I do a couple of updates every week at least and also catching up on some communications. So some messages and emails and things like that. Um, and, and then I think I'm going to do some painting, some artwork. The wind's really crazy today, um, but I actually really like it as well. It's really cozy in here. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just getting used to the light and how the light moves around and where I want to be in the room. So yeah, I think I'm going to finish tidying up my wet area as well later. Um, I'd like to do some painting um, and see how it feels to actually work over there in the room. Um, I don't know if you're like this, but I'm really funny about... I'm just going to close that window because it's really windy and um, the window needs fixing, I think. I don't think it's completely safe. So I'm just going to close it a little bit, leave it open a crack. Hang on a sec. So there we go. That's better. I was getting a little bit nervous about it. I don't know, blowing away. Um, it's right on the sort of edge side of the building and it, and it, and it really picks up the side wind. Um, and, it, and it is really, really windy today. So uh, I'm not sure I fancy a walk in this wind, actually. I might get blown away, <laughs> which might actually not be a bad thing today. Um, yeah, trying to get out of my head um, a little bit, which is why I sat journaling for quite some time this morning. Um, I, I, I wrote more than I usually do. Um, and uh, yeah, just trying to process a load of stuff that's in my head at the moment. So it's really helpful. I know a lot of you benefit from doing the same as well because uh, I get a lot of messages and comments and things like that from fellow journalers. Mm. And I know I haven't got my um, usual studio mug. This is actually um, one of James's. So I've just been in there for a coffee um, and had a little recap of what's going on with the uh, shop stuff. Um, but I find it really difficult to talk numbers and measurements and figures and things like that and then get back into my artwork. And I don't know if I've mentioned, but I really like to um, focus on my painting and my creativity in the mornings. Um, so if I switch right brain to left brain, I think I did mention this in the Q&A last week. Yeah, so if I switch from left brain to right brain or, or reverse, it, I find it really hard to get back into my, my right brain creativity zone, if you like. So yeah, I'm just settling into my week in a really gentle way, um, as gentle as possible anyway. Um, there's always things you can't control and they inevitably show up um, at the most inopportune times. Um, and I'm sure many of us can relate to that. But yes, I'm going to get on with this post now and get that up for the, uh, for the Patreon. And then I'm going to do some tidying up and then some painting, hopefully. So I'll let you know how I get on throughout the day. So I'm halfway through writing the post that I need to do today mm, and I'm finding it really difficult to write today but I will keep going with that and what I'm noticing is quite interesting about working in this particular spot in the room because I'm really comfy here and it's the same orientation as my desk was in my other studio I think um, so maybe that's why I feel so comfortable here. And uh, yeah, I'm in a cosy corner and I've got like the power position of the room in comparison of where the door is. And the light's really nice because the skylight's here. Yeah, really interesting. So I'm going to feng shui my room, this room, um, this week. I did feng shui my other studio. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to, as I'm organising things, um, just make sure that I've got the right things in the right place for the room. Um, yeah, but uh, I just thought I'd point that out in case anyone else is into the feng shui thing. I like to keep 
things organized, even if I know sometimes when you see my room, it does look an absolute mess. But I like to have um, a place for everything so that when I do tidy up little, you know, set surfaces and things like that, wow, the wind is going crazy. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Hopefully it's not disturbing the, um, the video um, too much. It feels really uh, powerful and um, moving the energy around. I might need to go for a walk in it actually and blow the cobwebs away. So I think I'll just finish this post and then I might um, go and see James and see what he what he's up to and whether he fancies a little, a little stomp around. Okay, I better get on with it then, she says, dragging her heels again. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. You know what my daughter would say? Mum, you've totes got this. That's what she'd say. Okay then, I'm going to get on with it. When we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun So I've just finished the um, the bagua, as it's called, um, the map of the feng shui, all the corners. And I'm not sure if they're called corners on an octagon, actually. But yes, I've just finished that. And so I did the descriptions and elements and numbers and things like that. And then I, um, so on the plan, James's lovely plan that he did me, get rid of the furniture actually because we don't need the furniture on this one we just want to simplify it so yeah it's in a, a little plastic pocket and I just got a, um, a sharpie and uh, wrote over the top to see uh, which corners which and um, because my room I think I explained a couple of videos ago when I did the uh, moving in video because my room is like a right angled triangle half of the room is missing if you like uh, that sounds a bit weird because obviously it's not, but um, according to this map, it is. So I'll show you how I've worked that out and how I'm going to navigate around that. Because obviously I don't want any of my corners missing. And there are things in Feng Shui that you can do, like, you know, adding mirrors and, and all sorts of things. But in my case, I'm lucky because where my missing areas are, I've actually got two big windows. So I'm going to use those like a portal, if you like, into those... Um, areas of the Feng Shui map, the Bagua. So I'll walk you around and show you which um, area is which, because it's really interesting. I've just done a little walk around myself. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put post-it notes up um, to remind me until I learn this, learn about the space, if, if you know what I mean. So I'll come in and I'll say, right, that's my wisdom area, that's my love area, that's my relationships, that's my creativity. So yeah, it's really exciting. So if you've never done this before and you're kind of drawn to it, um, look it up online or get a book about it or something like that and have a go at home. You can start off with just one room, but then you can develop your um, skills and do your whole house as well. But it really helps to have a plan of the house first. Um, and then you can, if you haven't got any plastic pockets and a permanent pen, you can use tracing paper over the top to, um, to draw the map in. Anyway, let's have a look and see which corner is which. So I've done my um, post-it notes ready. Borrowed James's post-its because I didn't have any. And, um, well, stole them really because uh, I'm not giving them back. <laughs> um, so here is the um, bottom of the bagua, as it's called, the wisdom, career, and helpful people. And you always put that over wherever your door is. So your door will either be here, here, or here. 
So if I turn that around, so it's the orientation of the actual um, room, here we go, I can see starting at the, um, at the door that that is my wisdom area. So that is this one, wisdom, self-improvement and inner knowledge. So that's this corner, so I'm just going to pop that up there. So that's all that corner, okay. And I know there's stuff everywhere at the minute, but that's because I'm organising and trying to sort things out, so just bear with me. And then that area over there, next to the door, all that um, wet area, is my, let's have a look, that's my career and life mission. So I'm going to go and stick that over there, um, which is a really, really lovely um, position for that, career and life mission, exactly where my wet area is going to be. Hmm, because I'm an artist, so that fits really well. Okay, and then that corner over there between the wet area and that first window, that is my, let's have a look, that's my helpful people. So that's this one. So we're going to stick that over here. Let's move this chair, hang on, to get in. So this is helpful people and travel. Not that we're doing much of that at the moment, but there you go. And that is, that area there is helpful people. So I need to keep that nice and organised. So next I'm coming to creativity and children. And that's the window I'm going to use as the portal for, for that space, um, for that category. So I'm going to pop that here. That's the portal for creativity and children. So I'm going to keep this really, really nice. And I might put some specific crystals here. Um, and make sure I'm very careful what images I put up as well. So I'll, I'll review all that. Mm, so yeah, check out all the plants and things like that. And it kind of goes up to around where the peace sign is, I think. And then the rest of it I'm going to use as the next area. So this all comes into it as well. And a little bit of the table and these plants here. It's going to be the creativity and children. Moving on to love and partnership so that's going to be my portal for that because again that corner of the room if you like is missing so that whole window is going to be the portal and then looking at what's on the window sill and again i might put some specific crystals um, so i'm going to put that there now I've got two little fairies here and I'm immediately going to move them away from love and partnership because they can be tricky little um, tricksters and I'm going to put them with creativity and children on this windowsill here. So I'm going to move those immediately. So I've had these years, my daughter got me them and they're really, really special. And yeah, cuties, little cuties. So you can be mischievous and playful here because it's the perfect little space for you. The next one is reputation and fame. And I'm going to utilise this, if you look up to the ceiling, this part here. So all this shelf has to be kept really organised and neat and tidy and dust free um, for my reputation and fame area. So yes, this corner here is actually a corner and this is my prosperity and abundance corner, which is perfect because it's where we're running the shop from. So I'll put that, um, let's see, up here like that, that's prosperity and abundance. So yeah, moving on to the final area then, which is family and health. Um, 
that is kind of where my standing desk is and half that cupboard because I think half of the cupboard is in the other area which is my wisdom area over there so this here I'll stick it over in a minute because I can't reach while I'm filming but um, yeah I'm going to stick that here and that's family and health and I've got all lovely healthy plants I'm seeing some nice natural baskets nice lamp really healthy standing desk um, which is super good for well-being and back care posture and etc so that's really great that that's in the family and health look I'll pop it on the table for now so I'm going to go around and tape all those up because those post-its look like they're going to fall down so hang on a sec so that's a really good job done now I've got all my coloured post-its up in the right areas and I'm really glad I've got that done because I, I really wanted to do that last week and I didn't get time and it's going to help me organise properly where I want to put things you know in a, in a finalised way um, because now I know the purpose of each zone so that's really going to help me organise the room and I'm really happy with how that's worked out as well with the map and, and where everything's ended up so my creativity um, in the window is really lovely because that always feels really creative and then love and partnership as well those two portal areas feel wonderful with the peace sign in the middle so that's going to bring peace to those areas as well so I really love that and I love the fact that the shop is in our prosperity and abundance area so I think I might do my finances and all my accounts here in this corner um, well James will probably do them but yeah he'll probably sit here because that's kind of like the officey bit and then health and family is where the standing desk is um, so that's really good because the standing desk is really good for our, my well-being and my back care and things like that um, and then career and life mission is perfect really perfect because that's obviously where my painting area is where the uh, wet area the big easel thing is so yeah that's worked out really really well and then once I've learned the areas I can take the post-its down um, and I think that this area here the reputation and fame area is going to need some extra additions so a uh, little disclaimer here as well I'm absolutely not um, a feng shui expert by any means whatsoever I have a feng shui book at home and I've been practicing feng shui for many years and I love it, I really love the effects and the um, impact it has energetically on my spaces. So what I tend to do when I need some help with, um, say for this area, some additions into the fame and reputation area, I'll just look them up online in a minute and then bring specific objects, um, colours, crystals, elements, things like that in to help and support it in a more enhanced way. And then I can bring in the extra elements to the areas I feel need a bit of extra support if that makes sense so if you've never played and dabbled with feng shui and you're drawn to it I strongly recommend it and maybe if you've worked with um, feng shui like I have I tend to have periods where I forget certain areas and they get a little bit dusty so maybe a little reminder to just check in on those little areas and make new additions and check the plants are okay or the crystals are in the right place and things like that and uh, have a little play it's fun and uh, see if it does really make a difference I used to do it every single time even when we had um, a van or a house sit yeah it doesn't matter in a, in a small space it's, it's just as important and if you've never played with it before maybe stick to one room before trying to do the whole house but it definitely helps to have the plan written out um, first of your house and it doesn't have to be to scale but to scale ish is helpful so for the rest of the afternoon um, what am I going to do? I have got some more orders to pack up with James so we're going to do that after we've had a little lunch break and we probably won't get them all done but uh, we're going to do you know, maybe half of what we've got so far. We're not going to post now until Friday so we're just going to pace ourselves a little bit. Um, and thank you to everyone that's ordered from our shop and that's expecting a parcel. We do put love in every single one so hopefully when you open your parcel you'll find it in there let me know if it's in there. So anything else to update you on? Mm, having a cup of tea. So if you're having a cup of tea with me, cheers to you. Nice, really nice. It's actually a bit cold now, but still refreshing. And I'm going to go now and then maybe check in with you later, depending on how the afternoon goes. 
I'm not going to promise because remember I'm on the no plan plan so um, that's really working out really well for me um, so I'm going to stick with that um, so yeah we'll see how we get on